Hey there, everybody. It's your good old friend, Eric, from the Action Toys channel. <laughs> well, today is just a simple one. We're going to take our, our paint pen here. Uh, it's just chrome or silver paint. Depends how you want to look at it. We're going to touch up a couple of things. One's going to be a couple of Ram Mans. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, there he is up on top. Um, we have a severely chewed uh, snake snake armor He-Man. Now, as you can see, all of his chrome's gone. He's got his uh, the paint on his neck wearing off. Now, when I say severely chewed, I'm talking about the condition. If you look at the foot, there's a huge gash here. There's gashes all over the foot. It has been, it's like, it's been chewed by a dog or something. Now, I don't know if I want to fix this yet, because look at this gash, like you can really pull this off, look. There's a ga There's a severe gash here. Um, there's a gash there. He's missing a giant piece of his arm. Um, he's, his hand, look at that. That's gotta be fixed. He's got another gash right there. So, this, Oh, okay. This is going to be another, this is going to be a whole fix on its own, I think. So I'm not sure if I'm going to paint this today. Um, because he also needs work on his hair. That needs to be repainted yellow. Um, I think the only thing I'm going to touch up today, though, is the paint on his armor. So we'll put these off to the side. Those will be another video. Um, but yeah, we're going to touch up chrome. And we're just going to have some fun with it. I'm, oh, I'm also not going to do uh, the uh, metal tape or the aluminum tape for his gauntlets because I just don't feel like I need to because you can get a, you ain't going to get a, a perfect look but, you, but you'll but you get something that's nicely displayable. And all my figures, their actions work. So it's the only thing that I don't like, the only thing I don't like about Ram Man is that you always get him, he's always messed up. <laughs> so let's get the town on him. I'm just gonna redo the entire thing, and it'll be uh, then it'll look like it's all uniform. Now this stuff takes forever to dry, and rubs in Mike marks easy. So I would suggest leaving it out for a day or two, and then. Going over it with a clear coat, it'll last longer. As you can see, this this uh, silver paint that I'm using, or chrome, is uh, slightly darker than the stuff that's already on Ram Man. That's fine. Like you can already see a, a marked improvement. Okay, I've got, uh, I'm going to be releasing another video soon with an announcement. Uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, but that's what that is. Look at that, that's better looking already. My life is now or never I ain't gonna live forever Whoops. Listen to music as I record, so. <laughs> Spontaneously breaking out in the, in, the, in the singing is kind of a thing when I, do, when I listen to music. Yeah. But I find this is probably the easiest thing to do. Um, for Ram Man is to touch up his silver paint. And to be honest, I think you could easily customize him to look more like the uh, Ram Man from the original cartoon. Because if I remember correctly, his paint scheme was just a tiny bit different than what's, what he's got here. How's that look so far? Not too bad, huh? Oh, I 
never. <sighs> My wife opened the door. She like looks at me, and I literally feel her looking at me. So I looked over, and we just stared, just stared at each other. It was kind of funny. And then she's like backed away and slowly closed the door. It was kind of funny. I actually like the darker look better. Oh, let's get him out of the way. That out of the way. I don't know. I'm just enjoying. I think I need these paint videos. They're uh, really relaxing. They help me out, and I get I get to shoot shoot the breeze with everybody who watches. Well, in my own way, I guess I get to shoot the breeze, with everybody. Oh, no, ah, it's okay. That's fine. I think so far, it's not done. Definitely need some touch-ups on the edges. Like the wear spots, like this one. Oh! Nice thing about this paint pen, though. It applies wet and you gotta give it a while to dry. So if you make a mistake, you can go through and just go like that. And then it comes off. And just come back through, touch it back up. Oh, there we go. These are easy to use because my arthritis gets real bad in both my hands. And sometimes uh, holding, a, holding a paintbrush trying to get into a little spot I just start shaking I get cramped up real easy ah. oh I thought I put it closed it all right never mind then so I'm going to get some black paint and I'll touch this up and look at this is just dropping him a little bit like that he rubbed off on here Look at that, it's already a marked improvement on the character. Mm -hmm. So I make sure I don't let it touch the base too, or the bottom too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my wife got me to move to paint today because she uh, started painting yesterday. She painted the uh, living room and she, uh, or not living room, the kitchen. And uh, just that, and my office right here is next to it and I was up last night working on a few things. And all I could smell was the paint. So I'd open my window and I asked her if she opened the window and she forgot to do that. So I was unofficially getting high. <laughs> And we just kind of laughed about it. Well, yeah. So my, my kitchen is now a bluish gray color and all the trimming in it. So has been painted black. And I was like, oh, that looks interesting. She likes it. And that's all that matters. I thought it was pretty cool looking though. Okay, oh. so we did all the major stuff on this guy. We're gonna put him over here, we're gonna let him go. Then we're gonna come over to this guy. And if you notice, he's in a lot more shape. Now, I don't know how to mimic this exact uh, color for the nose, but if I look at the nose, it's got a little bit of rub wear there, so I might just leave his face alone and just touch him up. It's easier that way, I think. Just fix fix all the major rub spots. And 
this guy, this one is in a lot worse shape than the other one. It's got a messed up nose. But you can already start seeing marked improvements on the paint. Oof. Now, if I just touch up the paint, well, this figure is in really rough shape. So if I was going to do this properly, I would do a, I would just take a picture and do a complete strip down of all the color in it on it because then i wouldn't have any mixed matched uh, blotches on it because applying a slightly different shade of this one well, well, oh wow this is dirty right here i should have cleaned that but uh yeah just like like look well it's just i don't uh, i don't think this will dry the exact same color as this so it might it might stick out it might not but it's just how it goes i guess i have to i have to wait till this dries to do uh to worry about uh any imperfections in the paint i guess but we'll see how it goes oh that worked Oh, I'm already starting to shake. See how my line's all over the place there? Okay, let's touch up the helmet. I say touch up, but at this point, the top's pretty much going to be replaced with this type of metallic paint. I would really like to just, I'm actually got headphones on listening to music. And to be honest, I think I would rather listen to it over the, uh, over the computer. Cause it's getting to be a little distracting because I'd rather sit here and sing at this point. <laughs> and you don't want that. I'm terrible at singing. Okay, let's have a look at it. We got some mold in there, so we take the tip of our brush. And it's not mold, it is a putty of some sort. Whoops. And I gotta grab. Oh, I glued it in. Okay, grab one of these out of the wall. Oh. Yeah, that's putty. So, someone had caked putty on this guy at one point. Let's see how he looks after I touch him up just a tiny bit. Yeah, don't mind me, if I get quiet, it's because the song come on that I actually like. And I, I really do, I like my mood, if I'm sitting there listening to music, it, my mood completely depends on what I'm listening to. One of my favorite songs just came on, so I don't want to make anyone feel left out. Yeah, this will fix it up a little bit more. And so much better already touching this guy up 
Now, this one's really dirty, so I, I, I'm going to have to wash them up after I'm done painting, which kind of sucks, because I should do that beforehand. So, this is the one thing I don't like doing, eh, because it requires a little bit finer hand than I got. Oh, I think I just got off, got off on that arm. Oh, I mean, I missed. I run out of off track. That's what I meant. <laughs> oh, don't get old. We just get younger. Okay. There we go. Sorry guys, but if I have to, uh, my hands shake really badly. So when you see me put something down and I start like this, it's because my hands are shaking and I'm having a hard time uh, staying steady. And if you haven't noticed, I'm terrible at painting as well, so. Makes it hard right there. Now, this will never be perfect. There we go, that's better. Okay, good, this song's over. Maybe I should just turn the music off. <laughs> what do you think, guys, so far? It's not bad. It's not perfect. It's not bad. So after we're done, I am going to use something to clear coat this uh this stuff and we'll see how it lasts or i'll do a up, up, update on it and it should be a good it should be a good experience because when i'm done it'll 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 sh it'll make this stuff pop out and shine a little bit more yep yeah, okay oops Give a shout out to one of my, uh, I would like to say friends, uh, and, um, from, uh, one of the streams, one of the streams I watch, um, the stream is Mike Walters and his co- is, uh, Friday co-host, Bat Goat. Bat Goat's pretty cool, talking about niche stuff all the time, those two. If you guys don't know who Batgoat is, go give him a go give him a sub. <laughs> He's a pretty nice guy. You gotta hit him up. Nice to see his button stash. It's amazing. I was um, what do you call it? I was uh, growing. I was gonna do mutton chops, and then I had I had I had my mutton chops up to about two inches long on each side. Two inches long, and then I was shaving, and then I. I went. I, I looked while I was trimming, up, trimming down, and I got to. And when I looked, I wasn't paying attention. Didn't take the buzzer away from my face, and I ended up nicking one. So then I was like, you know what? Starting over, which kind of sucks. Well, I, I grow facial hair fast for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, touch this back up because I had him face down. So you guys think? Nah, it's not perfect. But it's not bad. Okay. Now I just want to see what this is going to look like. Um, so he's going to need some reconstruction on his feet because they've been chewed. I'm going to, I might just take a emery board and file it down a little bit and then just fill this in with some crazy glue and flour like you see me do on for making fingers and stuff. And then do the same thing on his arm. Then I'm going to have to, I have to, uh, I'm going to figure out what's going on with his hand on the one because it's busted. So, I don't know if there's anything on there. Give me a second. <coughs> oh. No, so it doesn't look like it. So it'll be just a flat spot and I just paint it red okay. Easy enough. Then it's paint to face and all that. But right now we're going to touch this up. See what it looks like. You know, it's not going to look the same. The, uh, 
this uh snake snake uh snake armored he-man is uh like this is this uh i think this this is this, uh symbol on his chest is supposed to be red and i'm gonna have to come through after this stuff dries so a couple days uh maybe i'll come back and i'll do all the touch-ups i'll do the clear the clear coat um but we'll have to find a medium where i can just sit here and paint with it because that i don't want to bore anyone well boring guys already right with uh, this video so oh. that looks a lot better already look at this this is you see this this is bad this is what happens when you uh, they uh, chrome plate things a lot of times especially plastic wears off really easy And the, the the skin skin tone, the skin tone wore off right on here. So you see, that's it's supposed to have a paint on it. But to be honest, I don't think they should even bother putting the, the skin tone color paint on. Should just let it set by itself. Would have been fine. Yeah. See see where the uh, the electro plate the uh, the plated uh, paint is gone now. So and right in here. That kind of sucks. Which means I don't have to. T I wanted to kind of try and keep as much original paint on as I could, but I guess you don't always get what you want. So, wanna fly away? I guess you guys know what I'm listening to now. <laughs> so that one little fr one, one little line from the song. And this is gone now, so we're gonna go over this. It's not as shiny, it's not as mirrored, I, I should say. Like, they should've just left the, the paint like this. They should've just did this whole, the whole top half in the, uh, in the in, in a chrome plastic, it would've been easier. It wouldn't have lost any color. But it might've been just cheaper to use, use paint. A mirror finished paint. Wanna fly away. Yeah, because I can't even. I, can, I have to do a new. I have to try and get as close to this color as I can. And if you notice, the legs are a different color than the skin tone on the neck. So I'll match the legs best I can. Give it my best effort. Yeah. I don't care if I get me on the arm pegs. In fact, you know what? I might pull this. I might pull this apart or a jutsu, and take. Um, I think I'll do a jutsu because you know how his arm it, it, it uh, has a springy thing where it, it makes it chop, right? I might take the, that out because a lot of times when you find a lot of these he mans they're the one main thing is that they have a broken peg so they're um so they're no longer a viable collectible right but if you don't want if you don't care about that and you just want something for display of course people can glue an arm on but i've been working on I'm, i might just take to go, i might just make make a 3d printed piece instead instead of doing that because then it's then it's mine, right? But to get away. What do you guys think so far? Not bad. Okay. All right. Now where'd that head go? I need yellow. Got my yellow. There's the head. Now the yellow does not match that one. The Which yellow is better, to be honest. Sorry, just trying to get some of this yellow into a cat. But it doesn't look like it wants to go there. Yeah, it's just... I think I got some in there now. Oh, there we go. Ooh. <coughs> oh, that stuff stink. Okay. 
Okay. See me uh, use uh, my. There we go. It's not perfect, but it works. Um, so we're gonna paint his hair. Like this is not bad, to be honest. I wish it still had. I wish the other heads were like this, because then I then I wouldn't have to worry about uh. What do you call it? I wish they, I wish this was like a regular He-Man head. There we go. Sorry. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm going off on a weird tangent. Okay, so... This stuff's rubbing off. See the old stuff? So, already, uh... Let me uh, close my window here. There we go. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Uh, do I like this? I don't think so. I don't think I like this very much. This is going to require multiple coats. See, this is a... Uh, what type of yellow is this? This is bright yellow, so what I need is a more of a mustard yellow. So, I gotta... If I just took that, I don't have a lot, so I can't really just mix it with, because I want to. So, I might, I'm going to have to come back and touch this up. With a different paint. Well, with a different color, or with a different, with a mustard yellow. But yeah. This is actually really good. I don't know if people like these uh, little painting videos I do, where I just sit here and rant at you about who knows what just how I feel at the moment I guess but I find these relaxing I'm just gonna dab that right there just slightly pull back from it and right there we gotta make sure we get all the hair but yeah I don't know there we go Okay, some more. What was I saying now? Something about something, right, guys? Like a stone, come on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, if I, um, another guy wanted to shout out. Blue Boy Hobbies. He likes to do, uh, he that does, um, Hot Wheels. He, he reviews Hot Wheels. He races Hot Wheels. P.S. Blue Boy Hobbies. You still gotta finish that run that, uh, race off with, uh, your, your cars. <laughs> um, yeah. Great guy. Fun to watch. I I enjoy his content. I feel like he deserves a little bit more attention every now and then, but you know. There we go. What do you guys think? That is way too yellow, and you can it needs it's gonna need another coat. Yeah. That mustard jello is popping through. And it's looking like... I actually just looks like dirty blonde highlights. I'm okay with that. Because you can see that spot where... Where, um... It's that spot where it was completely rubbed off. And that was just where I went like this, right? Oh, I forgot to get my stand for where I set my... Well, this is going by the window because I ain't got nowhere to put it right now. And he'll dry there. Okay, and we'll finish this guy up, and that'll be it for us. Um, that reminds me, I've been a little lot remiss. I've been a little remiss. I gotta fix up my snout spouts uh, nose. Now, 
To be honest, I think it's pretty chewed up. I wonder if it would be all right just to lop the front of it off because then that spout thing, yeah, the spout is just right there and it'll just, I guess not. I guess that's just me being silly. I need to, I need to make a cork for his back too. Which will be it's, uh, let y'all probably have to 3D print. Just, I just gotta take some measurements. Okay. Well, I missed a spot. Okay, let's start with this. Yeah, I gotta wash both of these. I don't know, I just don't care for Ram Man. One second. Oh, oh getting old, gotta get out of my chair. Oh, my life. Sat down here at my desk and I forgot to grab my uh I went and did something I had to go get my mouse. Left my mouse sitting somewhere. <laughs> oh let me have a little bit of a beverage. Oh I needed that. Alrighty then, let's get back to it. My libations got me going again. Oh. Yeah, my hands are getting shaky. My hands my hands are shaky already, so I don't know how good this is gonna turn out now. Oh no No, I got I put my finger on this and it's supposed to dry. Ah that's alright, that's fine. Just a little touch up. Problem is this see there we go. I did the black. I forgot about that. Now. I almost feel like I should have did um, a little bit of white primer down here and ended this. Because then it would pop a little bit more. Now, I have the tape for this if I wanted to do it that way. But I'll be honest, I just wanted to relax and paint. <laughs> be a little bit selfish today, I think. I tried, I was gonna do this on Sunday. Wait, is there Sunday? Yep, okay, good. So my Sunday paint sessions are working out. Some of these I don't, I really don't do a whole lot. I just throw really little music in the background. And then post. <laughs> I got I forgot I got to do black, so I got black paint around here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, oh it's acrylic, but it'll work. I don't know what to do with my modeling paint. See the modeling paint I have it go it, it, it just comes in um a, a thing like this, right? Well, it's a little bit longer. It's got a nose on it, so I can put a bit down, dip in it, and do that. But I don't like that. So I literally stole one of my uh, daughter's, I can't remember if it was my daughter's or my wife's, nail polish, nail polishes, emptied out, cleaned out the container, and put that in there. And, and that's why, yeah, it's all gone now, but it took forever. I wasn't paying attention last time and got some on my hand. I was like, well, in for a penny, in for a pound, so. I painted. I had. It took me. It took me a long time to get that stuff off. My wife laughed at me. She thought it was nail polish. I was like, no, this is that enamel paint stuff that I was that uh, I used, and she just laughed because it took me forever to get it off. And then I felt like an idiot. Let me get this over here so you guys can see it. Oh, these paint pens really do make a lot of difference. The dexterity of my hands is lasting, so I can get a thing done. 
I don't know if you guys noticed, but in my last painting video, I'm sitting here, I'm putting my hands down, because they're seizing up, they're getting sore. And I don't, I don't like, I don't like that. Oh well, it's the, it's what happens when you just get old, I guess. Yeah, talk about my age. Someone asked me how old I was, I was like, how old do I look? They give me an age, like, that's how old I am then. <laughs> Ask me my age, damn it. Yeah, look at that. Holding Rem Man. It's already shaking. Let's talk about that, guys. Oh. If I just do this. Okay, it's dirty me up a little bit. The death radius. So I had to go off and get that little spot. Okay, there's that. Now my next thing is, do I use the paint pen which applies black? Let's have a look. Uh, one second here. Okay. Take him off to the side, put him there. All right, I just want to see how it looks, and then we'll decide on that. All right. Mm-hmm. Doesn't look bad. It's not a matte finish though, so yeah. See, guys, it's not matte finished. Well, this is this is a semi gloss, right? Paint that they used. But this one is a metallic one, so I can't use this. Which means I put this one on, and then I have to go over the clear coat. Oh, oh well. Clean this off of my hands. It's black, so it ain't gonna matter. And maybe a little bit of yellow tinge to the black will give it that aged vintage look. Not really. Okay, we'll see. Ah, maybe I should start at the feet first and they could have dried. Let's see, there we go. We're just gonna touch it up. We're not gonna. Well, I say touch it up, but when I say touch up, it means I'm gonna paint the entire thing that color. Yep. Um, what's about? Oh, well, I can touch up the chrome. The chrome, the chrome, just chrome, anyways. What am I gonna do? No, I just realized I forgot to turn on the light. It's one, two. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, ouch. My boxing fell down. Okay, there we go. Never felt this way before. I think that'll work better. Oh, I just gotta flip him around a bit. Oh, to you. So how's everyone doing out there today? I hope your weekend's being good. Mine's been pretty good. Wife painted. I uh, trying to get my sleep pattern back. Problem is, all my streams like watching are later at night, and it kind of messes up my sleep schedule. Oh. But that is just how it is.
And that looks pretty good, don't you think? Oh, let me touch up a spot. Oh, not too bad. Wish I wish I should have wish wish I did these first and then by the time I would have finished one I could have picked the other one up and did the chrome. Oh the you Oh I thought I touched it but I didn't. I was like, oh no. I don't even know. I think I think I'm gonna I don't know. I'll have to wait till this black dries and then I'll decide what I'm gonna do with it. That's funny, they should have left this lever, they should have just made it black to match the boots. And I'm not, I'm not going to change it. This spot right here. Double check that. And, uh, oh, missed a spot. Okay, put this guy down. Just gotta make sure I get all this paint off my fingers. Give me a minute here. I gotta get a stand. I got a bunch of extras. Make sure the right ones. Okay. These are just extras I made. Okay. Move this guy over here. Put him on this. In fact, his feet are slightly too big for the stand. But that stand fits most other figures, so kinda how it goes. Oh man. Oh well. Gonna be touching up that now. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna start with the bottoms of his feet, the soles of his feet. Alrighty then. I'm currently listening to the song Dirty Dancing. And it got over. Not bad. And something come on. Oh, okay. Uh, had to stop look over what it was I find that if I listen to music I can be happy all day every day but I guess it depends on what it is too it has to be upbeat the message in the medium don't even matter at that point as long as it you know uh, oh right through the plastic right there right through the green right through the right through the black right through the green Touch this up. <sighs> I got a little bit of paint there, but this one will scrape off with a with a little with little effort. So, whoops! Sorry about that. One spot left on the boot, and then we're done. Nope, there's any more on this. Go. Okay, guys. What do you think, guys? Oh, I got to do red right here. No, that's just dirt. Okay, good. See that? That's a previous paint, a little bit of paint drip from something. Okay. All right. Oh, no, I'm not touching on there. Okay, good, perfect. Don't move. <laughs> um, 
I'm sitting there thinking, okay. Well guys, thanks for joining me in my little project. Let me grab this guy. What do you guys think, huh? Oh, there we go. I know what's going on. The camera wire is stuck on something. No! So I hope... Oh, we'll see. Okay, next uh, next video, guys, I'll be uh, painting this uh, battle cat. See his uh, tail was gooby. It's my last. This is my last video's repair. It's uh, the, like I remember I I said the paint dries um, light uh, darker than it applies, and it what I thought I was about right because it was a shade or two lighter than this. It was a shade or two lighter than the regular color, so I figured it'd be pretty close, and it dried, and it's now a shade darker. And to be honest, I could probably do a better job on the uh, on the applicate and on the application and sanding of it. But I was like, you know what? It's it was missing most of the tip, so hmm. so that's the next video. Next video is going to be making Panthor, a custom Panthor for my for my custom anti attorney He Man. All right, guys. Tune in again for next Sunday, where I go over with a clear coat. I touch up his skin color right around the neck, because you see it's missing. Okay. Um, and I will be fixing his feet, his arms. Oh, the paintbrush. Okay. Alright, guys. See you next weekend.